Ryan Richardson sat in with Coach Jim Yarbrough and his men's basketball team as they prepare for the 2012-2013 season. Here's the report. In less than three weeks, Lion basketball under head coach Jim Yarbrough will begin the 2012-2013 season. After an injury-plagued year that sidelined a potential player of the year candidate for nearly the entire season and an inconsistent team that came up short in several games in conference action. The Southeastern Louisiana University's men's basketball team will look to reestablish itself in the 2012-2013 as one of the top programs in the Southland Conference. For us right now, we're just trying to make sure that there are some questions to be answered. Will Brandon be able to come back and perform as well as he had, like he was in the first seven games of last year? Early indications are, yeah, he'll be pretty good. Uh, Roosevelt Johnson finished the year very strong. Will he be able to continue that going into this season? Will our newcomers be able to do their jobs and help us out? And will the guys who got a lot of playing time and experience last year come in and do good work for us as well? And I feel as if the answer can, can be affirmative. I think we can have a very good year, and the guys who learned last year will give us some real invaluable depth and experience. We have 10, 11 guys every night that can get out on the floor for us. And with the return of guard Brandon Fortenberry, a veteran group of returning players, players and a solid five-man recruiting class, the Lions are poised to get back to their winning ways and make a run at the Southland Conference title. For just picking up what we left off, you know, we finished the season strong, so we just want to come into this season and finish what we left off last year. Fortenberry, who was averaging 17.6 points per game before suffering a season-ending foot injury in early December, Southeastern boats a pair of veteran all-conference caliber performers. Joined by senior forward Roosevelt Johnson, the Lions will possess one of the better inside-outside combinations in the league while returning players Todd Nelson, Jeremy Campbell, Antonio Benton, Jan Petrovic, and Anochi Ochi. All are expected to make significant contributions in 2012-2013. Uh, my expectations every year is, you know, is to win big and you know go to Katy and win this championship, bring it back here to Southeastern. And with this team we have this year, yes, we are deep and we are talented. But you know, the previous year we've been deep, and now we just got to come together as a team and you know be disciplined and. We should win. I think we can have a very good year, and the guys who learned last year will give us some real invaluable depth and experience. We have 10, 11 guys every night that can get out on the floor for us. The strength of the team will be at guard, where the Lions will have a solid court in Fortenberry, Nelson, and Campbell, along with newcomers Jeffrey Ricard, Dre Evans, and freshman Avery Woodson. You know, the three junior college guys stand out for us right now. Our two high school Mississippi freshmen are going to be great, and they're very good. But the three uh, junior college transfers are all very good. Dre Evans, obviously, has got great experience and really kind of takes command at the point guard spot. But Jeff Ricard has been remarkable. He's a local product from Plaquemines, played for Denny Wright, uh, who's a very good high school coach. Uh, really come up, played at McLennan Junior College, doing some great things, giving us a guy who can break you down off the dribble, a guy who's shooting the ball in a variety of ways, can really get heated up. The Lions open up their non-conference schedule on November 7th at home versus Millsaps College before hitting the road to take on Big Ten Power Wisconsin, along with National Power Marquette and New Mexico State. The Lions will play 11 non-conference games before welcoming Oral Roberts to Hammond for the Southland opener on January 3rd as part of a doubleheader with the Lady Lions. Florida's ranked 10th in the preseason poll, Wisconsin 21, and Marquette's getting votes would put them at the 36th spot. So that's uh, three teams that are in the top 36 in the country starting off. One of them's a top 10 team. But, you know, we open up with those three games, but our league play is going to open up with three tough games in a row. We'll open up on the 3rd and the 5th at home, and I believe on the 7th at Lamar. So we're going to have six games worth of days, so we'll mirror that. Now, there'll be different levels, of course, but there'll be good teams when the conference opens in January. The competition is going to be top notch, so it will get us ready. We have no choice but to be ready if we won't we're losing. So, you know, with Oral Roberts coming in, that's a great team, great organization, and we look forward to, you know, showing them that this is not easy conference to win. Thanks, Brandy. You can check out a complete schedule for men's basketball at lionsports.net.